Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. Chateau Hartiste, maxim number eight. Always assume she is a slut. <laughs> it helps kick the legs out from under the pedestal you will be tempted to put her on. And is more often than not true. Yeah. Chateau Hartiste or royalty. And this is a foundational belief or understanding in game. Yeah. And it will benefit you to to internalize this and it helps you handle women better. And he is right. Girls have slept with far more men than they will ever let you know. Or or even admit to in their own brains. Like honestly, I I can't stress this enough. Unless it counted, unless they were like in a pseudo monogamous relationship she doesn't really even think about it herself. You, you have to understand that sex comes to girls so much easier yeah. than for men that it's easily forgotten. <laughs> I, can't, I don't, can't really think of anything, but I think that's why guys have such a, there's such a cognitive dissonance between a girl that slept with 50 men and a guy that slept with 50 women is he had to put in some work. Yeah, that shows a lot of effort on his part. All she had to do was have a wild year or two at college yeah and just show up because remember for girls things just happen Mm -hmm. the guys are all making it happen yeah so it's not as monumental of a um conquest no for women it's not a conquest at all no they're kind of like a ride along they're they're a happy passenger (laughs) funny yeah you know i mean they're just riding that's pretty good but they're riding along. That's all where, right. and that's a topic for a completely different um, podcast. podcast. But what you have to keep in mind when you meet her, and, and guys get so are so bad because guys are the romantics. They ask some girl out. They think she's ideal. They play an entire fantasy life in their head of how yeah. she's been, and it's more often than not not accurate at all right you know most girls have a lot of history because they start becoming interested in guys way before guys are interested in them and you're never going to know any of their history you know so that's just part of it but if you assume she is a slut you'll have a more relaxed attitude towards her yeah it's it's a mental game as much as anything and it keeps you from idolizing her it it allows you to tease her it allows you to treat her like your little sister. And all these things benefit you and her. Yeah. You know, girls don't want guys that are like mesmerized. They want guys that hold themselves a little bit above her. And it's mostly unspoken. Yeah. You know, so when he carries himself like, you know, above her, it works for both of them. You know, but you have to kind of like scrub your brain of that. Girls are cinnamon and spice and everything nice, <laughs> you know, when they're really they're, usually... We're spicy, all right. Yeah, they're usually sluts. <laughs> and if they... And like he says, and if she turns out to not be a slut, it's a happy, happy thing. You yeah. know, I mean, great, great. <laughs> you know, but but more often than not, she won't. She'll have a history. And uh, more often not than not, you won't ever learn it. Exactly, exactly. But you won't get yourself caught in a bad situation where you think she's ideal and... and Virginal. Yeah, and she's got a history. And, and, and the younger you are, the harder, you know, you think these girls are like a virgin or they've been with one or two guys and they've been with five or ten or fifteen or twenty. And so it's a bigger shock to your system. Yeah. You know what I mean? As you get older, a lot of this stuff kind of like goes away, you know? Well, and and I think the best example of this is, like, kind of the girls gone wild phenomenon. Now, granted, that that ages us a little bit because this is about 20 years old. But the girls gone wild phenomenon where, you know, they're essentially filming, like, out at spring and summer breaks and things like that. And the girls are, these girls who, if you met them at church or met them at, you know, brunch with their grandmothers, look like, beautiful, young, youthful, well put together, well studied, smart, sophisticated, stunning, you know, charming girls. 
but out on break with their their for you know sorority sisters and all their their pals and lots of alcohol and no adult supervision they are flashing the camera they're you know giving blow jobs they are they're doing all of this stuff knowing full well that there are recordings being being taken of them you know no even less you know n now it's even more there's always a camera on us in some way you know so you had college students 20 somethings you know there's never a time when something's not being recorded so that phenomenon and just the way that girls behave during that kind of happening you've even you've even like tweeted about how girls will fuck harder on camera right it's no Correct. different with any of this other behavior when there's if, an observer if there's alcohol if there's a camera involved there's going to be a more extreme version of that side so that they stand out so this girls gone wild kind of phenomenon shows i guarantee that 90 percent of the of the girls who were featured at that time, during that, I mean, granted, these were like VHS tape, you know, They were VHS tapes, yeah. But, you know, or on paid cable. <laughs> but they all turned in to be nice little moms, yes. nice little wives. They had a house full of kids and a nice little house. And you would never know now, 20 years later, that 90% of them had ever been that girl. And one thing to convey, a lot of guys kind of get sideways and kind of get mad because, like, you see the girl at church. Yeah. You see the girl that, you know, plays it straight, and then you find out down the road, like, she has a history. Yeah. It's women's jobs to be deceptive, to hide that when they're around their parents yeah. When they're around their family, when they're around their kids. Their brothers. Yeah, when they're around. Even their judgmental friends. Yeah, exactly. Their very, girlfriends. Very few of our friends actually know everything that there is to know about exactly. us. Exactly. It's, that's hardwired for them to be desexualized. And I can't think of a better word. That's a good way to yeah, put it. Yeah, they kind of scrub the sexuality out of their life, but then can turn it on elsewhere. Yeah. You know? Um and again, just like uh, Bunny said, that Girls Gone Wild was probably the first time where they saw truly like Girls Next Door all of a sudden that was not planned. They didn't go out. They went out that night not planning on taking off all their clothes and fucking at the back of a bus. Yeah. You know, on camera. Yeah. And, but they did, and then they signed the waiver. Yeah. You know, exactly. So that's, that was pretty revealing on, on women's nature. But just keep in mind, you're a smart guy, and you're a guy who just gets it. And right. that's what women, they want to be around men who just get it. That way you're not butthurt when you find out she's got more of a history than she let on in the beginning, which and is her job. And we don't want to be pedestalized. No. We don't want you to look at us like you're mesmerized by our presence. It's not sexy. No. You guys, you guys think it is. You guys think it's like... It's like an attractive quality to just be so entra entranced Stuck, by by um, our beauty, and you know, oh, I've never been out with someone as beautiful you, than you. I, I've never like this is not sexy behavior. Right. Girls want gir guys that other girls want. So if you're mesmerized by us, that means oh fuck. The dynamics are thrown off. Yeah. This is I truly am the best he can do. You know. That's, that's not good. It's not good at all. No. Keep that in mind. Don't put her on a pedestal. Assume she is a slut, and you'll do just fine. Yeah. And if you don't already have a system in place to take a girl from stranger, whether you meet, him or we meet her at the grocery store, on an app, on social media, social circle, through friends, to in your bed, then pick up, Fort Worth's uh, your dating system. Build your dating system and create a system. Start with the with the blueprint that he lays out and build on that as you practice in your world with your girls in your neighborhood and make it your own. 
because we want you to win in all things.